Hey y'all, how's it going? Sorry, I'm probably putting all these videos on at once. I only got me an iPhone so I can finally record stuff. My other phone wasn't that good, but uh, just want to show you all this little project we have. It's a 1973 Century Restorer ski boat. Finally got the interior done. Turned out pretty good. I'm impressed. I like it a lot. We just, this paint was pretty faded. We wet sanded it and tried to polish it back out. It's actually turning out pretty good. We still got to get all this bottom paint off. Well, we probably won't get it all off. We'll just sand on it a little bit and we'll probably paint it white. So it'll go with the boat better. And there used to be a white stripe right here. We peeled that off too. We'll probably either put another white stripe or see if we can get that out. But I doubt we'll get that out. But uh, we polished out all this chrome right here. Turned out pretty good. Put new wood on it. Got the windshield shined up. This isn't actually glass. I thought it was glass when we were taking it out. It's actually plexiglass, and uh, there's not any glass right here for right now, as you see. And uh, we got all new gauges for it. Got what website? Got them off of. This is my dad's boat. I don't know which website you got off of. I just been helping them work with it. And uh, for the motor, it's a 1972 Chrysler. 340 marine engine as you see right there as a four barrel carburetor we rebuilt it ourselves there's no mufflers on this thing it's basically just dual straights out the back of the boat things loud but it sounds good and uh we just got the carpet in been working on we got that in about two days ago got the gas tank back in and uh, one cool thing about this boat, you know, on most boats, for the throttle, they have like a little lever you push back and forth. On this one, you just pull this out, and that's wide open throttle, and that's what you do to put it back down. And for choke, you just turn this, like so. And uh, for the transmission, like to put it in gear, it's basically like a car. You know how they have a column shifter? This thing has a column shifter, too. I just thought that was pretty neat. And as, you, as I said, we got all new gauges. This is actually stick on stuff, but it looks legit. Now we got the new dash piece up there. Looks pretty good. Boat's coming along nicely. Of course, we had to do some work right here. This boat's old. We had to do some stuff. Some of the wood is rotten right there. We had to pull some of that out and patch it up. And uh, I don't know if y'all can see, but I'll move back here. We had to redo all down in there because all that was rotten. Had to take all that out and then redo it. But she's solid now. And uh, hardest thing about this working on this motor it's a marine motor we couldn't barely find any parts we were just guessing between like a Dodge truck for 318 pretty much even getting we had to custom make those plug wires to fit I think those are MSD has a kit where you can like make it yourself you know and even the fuel filter we had to modify that to get on there as you see, you have to get several different fittings to get it to go in right. But uh, yeah, she's coming along nicely. We, we took the badges off of it. We're going to try to see if those will polish back out, hopefully. And then, of course, we got there's the swimming platform right there. we got to put that back on. And uh, here's where the exhaust comes out, right here. Put new flaps on it, you know. And uh, we couldn't get this to polish back out, but we got this. Here's a spray paint we got that's supposed to look like chrome, you know. 
and uh, actually turned out a lot better than I thought. This being, you know, cast, it actually has a little shine to it. I didn't think it'd turn out that good. I was calling my dad crazy for trying to do it, but uh, he did a good job on that. I ain't gonna lie. We got the uh, got the rotor mounted up. We actually had to do some prop work. The prop on this thing was bent. I'll show you all that in a second. And that's where you can hook like an inner tube or skis, but there's supposed to be a ski post that goes just in front of the motor, you know, because it pulls a lot better. But, uh, yeah, she's turning out pretty good. I wish. Also, on this Sentry, well, my dad don't want to put this back on, but it came with like a spotlight. And add a little switch in there. Let's see if I can find the switch. Uh, it's in here somewhere. I saw it the other day. Here it is. Had a little switch right there. You know you can you can put it on. You know spotlight, floodlight, and that's off. And you can this little Joey stick. You can. Rotate it any direction you'd like. I was doing some research on this boat. That was actually, it didn't come like that from the factory. That was an option the dealer put on there. I just thought that was pretty cool. And uh, there's that fuel filter. That was the original one. We couldn't, even says Chrysler on it, but uh, couldn't even find, couldn't even find one to fit on there. But uh, yeah, she's turning out pretty good. This trailer is fairly new. I think it's like a 99 model. It's a good little trailer. It's not aluminum though, so you probably couldn't back into salt water, which will, this boat will probably never be in salt water. And there's some of the interior up there we gotta put back in. And uh, just trying to get by all this stuff. When we got this boat, as you see, all these boxes up here had basically two of everything. We got two manifolds down there, but they weren't any good. We could tell they've been repaired. They've probably been rusted through several times. And the, there's that prop I was talking about. It's been refinished. Turned out pretty good. Just can't wait to get this boat on the water. It's going to be sweet. But, uh, just wanted to show y'all this boat. I think it's a neat little boat. Well, y'all have a good one. Goodbye.